Hello again. Welcome back. This is the 20 millionth and one time I've tried to make this video. OBS is kicking my butt. My lack of practice of making videos is kicking my butt. But let's give this a go. See if I can get it right this time. I'm going to continue on the, the theme from the last video that I did about my workflow with using the SSL SC1 and XTouch1 from Behringer as my a way to navigate my channels. And initially I set up um, so that every time I ins inserted a new track in Reaper, these two plugins would be inserted on there automatically. That annoyed me because in certain instances I wanted to have the bus compressor on there I maybe didn't and I wanted the bus version of Satson. So what I'm going to do is set up some toolbar buttons to create the effects, to create the, a way for me to insert the effects that are relevant to my, my now workflow. As you can see, I've got a load of toolbar buttons up here that I created previously. Uh, I don't use these now anymore. So let's create a new, we'll create a new one with the SSL channel and, and Satsun and you know, that will just show you how we do all the rest of them. So let's get rid of my ugly mug. Um, if I can find it. Okay. And what we'll do on this track, I've got the Satsun and SSL channel inserted as I want it. I've got the EQ switched off and dynamics on the channel. I've got the fat switch switched on on Satsun, but nothing else. So I'm going to select those two, right click, FX change, save selected FX as chain. Okay. Now, as I say, this isn't the first time I've made this video, so I've already got this saved, but we'll go in and you can just then give it a name and hit save, but I'm going to replace the SSL SC1 RFX chain and I'm going to save and it's going to ask me to replace it and I'm going to say yes. So that's now saved as an FX chain. But how do I get that in as a toolbar button? Well, what I'm going to do next is to, uh, let's go on to this track and let's hit add as though we're going to put in a new effect. Go to our FX chains, navigate to this chain that we want to insert as a toolbar button. Again, right click on it um, and hit create shortcut. Now, what you use as a shortcut here doesn't matter. This is purely so that you can find it in the action list later. We will delete this shortcut at a later date. So just use something you're going to remember and it's not going to erase a, a, a shortcut that you use regularly. So I'm create shortcut and I'm just going to use some obscure so it's, uh, shift control alt a uh, hit ok um, and then I'm just going to cancel that because all I, I wanted to do was create the shortcut. So now what we're going to do if we right click on our toolbar and go customize toolbar um, if we hit add, opens up our action list. And then what we want to do is to press on find shortcut. I'm just checking you can see what I'm doing. Find shortcut. This is why you needed to remember your shortcut. So I'm going to do that shift control alt A. And that takes me to the effects chain that I created with the shortcut. Now what we can do now is if we go down and highlight the, the shortcut, we can now delete it. We don't need it anymore, as this is in the, the actions list. So then what we can do is just select it and close, and that will add it onto our toolbar as a, a, an action here. I'm going to bring it up in amongst the rest of the um, effects buttons. Uh, do icon, I'm going to make it a text icon double width and I'll just call it um, SSLSC1 okay and hit OK 
Then when we hit apply, you can see that that's appeared in our toolbar um, in the, the order that well, I put it in. So it's above the, after, before the master bus. So the master bus is there and the SSL SC1 is there. Hit. Okay. Now, what's going to happen if I look at this base channel, if I hit the SSL SC1, that's going to add these effects to this channel, but there's a problem. It opens the windows up and floats them. Now you imagine if you've got 20 or 30 channels and you, I can highlight all four of these channels, for example, and hit that button and it will insert the effects on every channel that I've got highlighted. But as you can see, it's opened up all these windows. Now as I say, you imagine that's 20 or 30 windows, you've got 60 odd plugins you've got to shut down, the windows you've got to close. So let's go into options, pre uh, preferences, Plugins, and I'm going to untick Auto Float New Recreated FX Windows and untick Auto Open FX Windows after Quick Add. Hit Apply. Okay. Now, what we can do is when I... Oh, these four tracks are highlighted. I will then hit the button again and it will insert them on the tracks, but as you see none of the windows open up so if we open up one of the tracks you can see we've got the extra SSL and all the rest of it in there okay so that's it guys really simple how to create a toolbar button to insert effects chains you can create different effects chains for different you know parts of whatever you're doing and it's you know when you select however many tracks it will just insert those effects on those tracks for you Hope this was helpful, hope it's useful, hope it worked with OBS this time, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.